Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to write the general form of uh, the nth term um, for a geometric sequence. And a lot of times we call this the rule or the nth term, because um, here we have four values in a sequence. And what we're trying to do is, well, what if I, you know, here is the first term, which we call a sub 1, a sub 2, a sub 3, a sub 4. What if I wanted to figure out what a sub 7 was? Or for any number that I plug in for n, here's what the rule is going to be. So n is going to be our variable. But what we want to do is determine what a sub 1 is and what r is. Well, a sub 1 is going to be your first term in your sequence. So that's going to be 1 sixth. And then r is going to be the ratio between the term and its subsequent term. And most commonly, we usually just use a sub 2 over a sub 1. However, you could do a sub 3 over a sub 2, a sub 4 over a sub 3. But it's the ratio, the multiplier of what you need to do to get from your previous term to the next term. So to find that multiplier, we divide a term by its previous term. So in this case, I have 1 third divided by 1 sixth. Simplify that. I will multiply by my um, reciprocal. That goes to 1, and we're left with 6 over 3, which equals 2. So now I know what r is. I know what a sub 1 is. Now I'll just plug it into our formula. So I have a sub n equals a sub 1, which is 1 sixth, times r, which is 2, raised to the n minus 1. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you find the um, nth term for a geometric sequence. Thanks.